bells. Well, that feels better a little bit. Simple. They're kind of cool with it. Yeah. So what's happening at the guild? Come on, at the at the guild. Uh, you know, life. <laughs> All right, that's worthwhile. Yeah. Look at it all. What choices? in resting mode, waiting for Julia to come in with her dream. To dream or not to dream. Anybody else? Although, you know, right now I'm being baffled by that mystery in the Timaeus about what it means to have your revolutions. You know, they actually say vision is the best gift of, right, the best gift to mankind or something because you can Put see the... Two the together. Hmm? Put the two of them together. Well, I was going to, because you can see the revolutions of the, they, their argument is you can see the revolutions of the, of the heavens, and so, so make your own internal revolutions like those revolutions, and that seems to me so implausible. But the world of revolutions in the yes, heavens is, hmm? the, is the group diatonic scale. Well, that's the harmony. Harmony is one part of it. That's I mean, the listening part of it. When he talks about. Moving. The planets, they fit into ah. the structure Put it in of the wall. Hmm. That's cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that fit better under... The other part is, what do you I'm make of this? I'm working on it. Is self and other, I mean, is the uh, same and other really self and other? Well, yeah, as far as the, the vocabulary. That means? Yeah. That means what? That you have to make, that, that well, for, it has two levels. One is that on the metaphysical level, in the intelligence of the Supreme, there are the most beautiful and most brilliant hmm. spherical entities, and that they there is emotion 
on that highest level yeah. uh, that is the self motion uh, and by the, the way, other motion as there is on the human level. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, did you see that taking place with Julie last night? Oh, well, um, certainly, um, certainly that that is the name of her problem in a way is that she couldn't see herself at all. She couldn't reflect on what she wanted, what to do something for herself. Right. Yeah. So, and don't tell people, but in some way we were doing astronomy last time. Hmm. Correcting the revolutions that were corrupted at birth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say so. Oh. I'll be interested to see this dream, because in reflecting on it this morning, I was wondering about what happened. In a sense, it's the same question, right? Because this, the revolution of same or self, the self-revolution, that... Um, allows you to encounter objects that are that can be known right mm -hmm. and are true mm -hmm. might have the vocabulary a little off but then julie should be able to encounter true truth for herself right mm -hmm. oh, sorry. so herself i wondered if she reca caught that cognitive part of it right yeah, right that what right. what it did to her cognitive function right Mm. Uh, hope you don't mind, but well, in your absence, we've been talking behind your back oh. or stomach. Which which do you prefer? I think it was you were next to me, talking next to my, beside me. Beside oh, you, you rather than okay. uh, in back of you. Or? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you a ready? very nice machine. What do you, what do you, yeah. what, which one is it? It's called, um... Is that oh, one of those apples? HTC. Or? Oh, okay. I don't know what HTC is. I don't either. Don't ask me. I don't that, That's a chef question. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> I paid $400 for it. Whoa! 400 Yeah. And it's been great um, for it's, three years. Four years. For three years. Four years. Yeah. Good. And I can, it's got GPS, so I can find maps wherever I am. Good. Have you done that? Yeah. And it works? Yeah. Like I see, where's the closest mobile gas station? And it just shows me. And gives me a map how to get there. Yeah, yeah. Put, put in, uh, how can I uh, <laughs> discover the self? Well, actually, <laughs> it doesn't do that. It doesn't? No. After $400? You have to have a, some... For God's yeah. sake. Some, uh, what, yeah. what a... What a ripoff. <laughs> One question Google can't answer. <coughs> okay. Have a dream. Yeah. Okay. Probably would just say. I only have. Don't look at me. Two copies, so. Look at yourself. So oh, hold on. Ha. <sighs> okay. 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 I'll read it. Not yet. No. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is a, a dream I had this morning on the 21st of May. I just had this dream where I was telling somebody what I was trying to do, which was stay true to like this one concept or one word 
it was a long word like conscientiousness or consciousness something like that and so I had all these a long list of these words or it's like titles of songs books or something that I thought stayed true to that one word so that's my dream it seems like it was a long word that began with a C and had three or four syllables there was one or two words that began with an R righteousness or something like that maybe rectification also later I remembered there was some kind of a square pattern there and then I mentioned that after my dream exploration last night I mentioned the contemplative psychology which is an area of psychology I mentioned to Pierre last night I was interested in getting involved with and so I'm think so I'm now intrigued with the pursuit of contemplative psychology and that's a C word with four syllables. So that's it. What do you make of it? Well, uh when I ask you that. Yeah. Well, one thing I make of it is uh it makes me wonder what these words mean, conscientious. Oh. Do it again. Okay. What do I make of it? Yeah, what do you think of it as a whole? Oh. Like, oh. Uh, well, it seems to be focusing me that's into true. some that's true. area. There's no... There's no me? No, no, there's oh. a me there. Okay. But you're not helping anybody. Oh. There's no conflict. Oh. That's true. What do you make of that? Pretty few. Yeah, so what is it you're doing as a whole? Come mm. on. What, do you, what would you say you're doing in the dream? Getting into ideas. Yeah, that's true. Or the sound of certain words. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see, I was telling somebody what yeah. I was trying to do. Yeah. yeah. Stay true to you take whatever answer you get, you know. <laughs> Got to go with it. Um, In terms of the dream, uh -huh. first sentence, what are you doing? Just stay true to this one concept. What, you, what is that? What, what, is that, what kind of activity is that? Notice the language you're using, okay? To stay true, right? Right. So what are you doing? You want to stay true, Yeah. right? To one idea, or one concept, or, or one word. Right. What are you doing then with that activity? Um, well, I think they use that word true when they talk about like tires, right? Like the a circular tire, if it's true, it's like perfectly circular kind of thing. Um, but, but that's not <coughs> what's going on there. So it's a, com it's a two things going on, like myself and then comparing that with what's what kind the of people do that? Artists. Oh, those who uh, paint images on big skin? Probably not. Probably more like um, portraits. People who try to paint a portrait. Maybe. Oh, those people deal with dried paint on big skin. <laughs> you thinking of pigment? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that what they're doing? Trying to stay true to like one concept or one word. Yeah. Is that what they're doing? Mm. So you have part of no, it. See, yeah. that is what someone does when they're trying to do a portrait. It's not that I'm ridiculing your answer. Yeah. But is it high enough to fit what you're doing? 
This would be more in the world of ideas. Yeah, now what kinds of people do that? Do that? Hmm. Palazzo first. Oh, what are you doing? Philosophy. Darn it. Okay, I got two questions for you. In the dream, what's it like when you're trying to stay true <laughs> to that? Oh, thanks. Right? What's it like when I'm trying to stay true to that? Huh. Well, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I'm telling yeah. somebody. Yeah. That I'm trying to do but this. In the dream, you do know what you're experiencing. See? So, what are you doing in the dream? You're trying to tell someone. Right. What? That I'm trying. Okay. I'm telling somebody that I'm trying to stay true to. And then I can't even think of what the word is that, that I'm trying matter. to stay doesn't, true to. Doesn't matter. What was it like in the dream? Oh, what was that it like in the dream? Um, when you were trying, uh, right? You're trying. You're doing two things. You're trying to tell this person, as well as you're trying to describe a state of mind that you had been in. Right? Yeah. Back into the dream. So, okay, right. Right there you are, you're dreaming. Yeah. Right? And when you're trying to do that, what's it like in the dream trying to do that? Are you laughing, crying, cynical? Uh, oh. What attitude goes along with that? Sincere, oh. foolish? You know, driven? um. It's hard to reflect on that. I, I really. Uh, hmm. How about all the way, all the words I just mentioned? Did you check them off? Well, I wish I. Um, it was a joke. Right. Is that right? You no, know, it wasn't a joke. It seemed like it was a challenge just to get this scream out. Like right. I had to go to a different room this morning and yeah, I agree. it came back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I quickly got it down, but it's not see, like I in, in luxuriated dream, see, in it. Uh, see, in the dream that you're trying to do that, uh, was that frustrating? Was that comical? Okay. Was that sincere? Was that. <coughs> what are the words you use? Well, it was. Uh, It was just, uh, I felt calm. Good, 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 good. Calm, comfortable. Like I could take my time. Right, taking, taking your time. Yeah. Right, leisurely or not? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't leisurely. Be leisurely. I didn't feel any pressure to hurry up, or, but yeah. I just couldn't think of. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It was okay. You're calm, you're taking your time, mm -hmm. it's leisurely. Sincere or not? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, how sincere? Well, uh, huh? as sincere as I could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting state, isn't it? <laughs> well, it seemed pretty superficial. Uh, uh, where's that? Well, just, you know. Where's that? Where is that? I only came up with two words. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. I'm not asking you to judge it. Okay. I'm asking you to describe it. Okay. And yeah, you're, doing, you're doing pretty I good. I was not judging it in the Yeah, in the okay, moment. okay. Yeah. I was trying to do what to see the truth Yeah. Now, if the same idea goes through <coughs> the dream, and then it hits an interesting point, doesn't it? <coughs> right, so the second state. 
Right. So I had the long list. And so I had all these, a long list of those words. Or it's, it's like titles of songs and books or something that I thought stayed true to that one word. Right. See, there, what state is that? See, now you're doing it, you're searching, right? See, you picture yourself in the dream. You got a long list, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? And there are titles of songs and books, right? Yeah. That I thought stayed true to that one word. What's that like now? That was good. I had done my homework. I had, I was putting out my, yeah. my report. Yeah, you're, you're doing the work. Yeah, I'm reporting on my work. Right, you're done. reporting on, what's that like, reporting on your work? That was good, getting it out there. I, I don't know the word good. Um, so you're reporting on the work. Yeah. Right. You've done a heck of a lot of work, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's it like? Felt good, like I was gearing up. Gearing up, gearing come up on. To see, that's better than good. See. Yeah. Gearing more. Yeah, I'm actively um, involved. Uh, doing more, my own work. Yeah, own more work. involved than in previously. Because, yeah, yeah. Right. Now you're in it. <clears throat> right. Well, what's the what is the <clears throat> what's the name of the activity you said before? I said it was philosophy. Oh, philosophy. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're reporting on your philosophical journey. Hmm. Is that right? And it's good, yeah. right? Right? You're gearing up, you're involved. Right. Enjoying it? Yeah. Of what degree? Like uh, minor? Kind of. <clears throat> no, I was totally focused. Totally and, and focused. Unified and yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it was my thing. I'm doing my thing here. Yeah, I'm doing my thing. Thank you. And you're doing your thing is what kind of activity? Again? Philosophy. I see. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, what's the similarity with the words now, the last paragraph? Come on. So it seems like it was a long word. And it's something like with an R word. Oh yeah, there was one or two words that came with an R. Righteousness or something. Yeah, Maybe righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. Consciousness, yeah. righteousness. Yeah, that was the comparison. Yeah. Right. Is that an interesting comparison you're making? Yeah. Between consciousness and righteousness. Yeah. And you're looking for the one word which may be behind the one you're looking for? And you like that activity? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, how do these two states fit into what we talked about last night in your dream? Mm. What is it you came to in the dream? When you were time. asking questions, remember? Right. Well, I think I was asking from the standpoint of righteousness. Yeah. And my mother was neither conscientious nor righteous. <laughs> right. But you weren't helping anybody. You shifted. Mm -hmm. And now you're using your mind. Right. Right, with her program, there's neither conscious conscientiousness nor righteousness. Right. Right, with her program. Remember, yeah. we asked you, what is it like when you were doing that, raising yeah. those questions? Right. Do you remember what you said about it? 
Well, then I got no answer. That's not answering the question. What I said about my questions? That did, I asked her? Did question? you make some comparison with that state of mind and uh, states of mind in Zen? Last time? Oh. Uh. Yeah. What do you make of that, last time? What were you saying? I was saying that my mother had given me no That's all true. Opportunity. But that's the, we're at the end of the dream. For that woman who's suffering. And what are you doing? Are you helping her or asking questions? Oh, I forgot the dream. Where's the woman suffering in the dream? The Korean woman. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm asking questions. That's right. Fundamental questions? Yeah, questions about cause. Yeah. Did we ask you what it was like during those times you were raising those questions? Right. That was, yeah. Yeah, then you found a kinship between that state of mind and being in Zen? Right. Now you got it. How do these two states relate to that state? That's what? That's the contemplative model. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Then what are you doing in your dream? What kind of philosophy? Um, contemplative psychology. Okay. You don't have to study it, you're doing it. Doing you don't it, have to yeah. read books, you're doing it. Is that right? That's right. I'll be doing it. Right. <laughs> Big change in the dream? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Totally cool. Do you think you're worth studying? Hey, do you yeah. think you're worth studying? Yeah. Mm. Think that self is worth exploring? Yeah. And I need to write about it. Right. Because I'm seeing my other my students. This is what turns them on too. <laughs> this is when they come to life, so... Right, the hell with them, what's it happening to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I gotta start with me. <laughs> that's true. I wish you slip right in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Come with them. Fun. Okay, thanks. <laughs> the big really thing is you can't get much out of a dream. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it's always the same thing. You know, it's a waste of time. Is that right? Well, no, you get a lot out of it. Dreams. No. Profound? But I'm... I, hey, are you getting to be one of those profound broads? <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Contemplating the difference between consciousness and righteousness. I'm looking for the one word that might be able to pull them all together. It probably starts with, you see, it has three syllables. What the hell is it? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and while you're doing it, how's the state of mind? Having a ball? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm fine. doing what I should be doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay true. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I won't tell anybody about Don't. this. But other people hear about this, you know, what they'll think of you. So I have a, I have a question for you. <coughs> I want to know your opinion about, okay. About? Um, so about the study of causes. Do you think that's something that okay. can be done? This is, don't repeat this. Okay. <coughs> Bullshit. Okay. 
Oh. Say, uh, uh, what color is this? Yellow. Yellow. Oh. Is it yellow or is it, does it have the property of yellowness? It's got the property of yellowness. Oh, 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 oh. So then, this owes its existence to something <coughs> called <coughs> the color yellow. Or light rays or something. Yeah. No, about you producing some mechanical yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah. some of the bullshit thing, but I'll uh -huh. leave that alone. Okay. What's your relationship then between yellowness and the color yellow? Is one the source of the other? I mean, could you have yellowness mm -hmm. if you if you didn't have yellow? Hmm. I don't know which comes first. Yeah, that's why I asked. Yellowness or yellow? Um, I would say yellow comes first. Oh, good. Yeah. By the way, is that equally true for all messes? Yeah. Oh, so that if anyone wants to know about righteousness, what is it assuming? That there's... That there must be... The quality of being righteous. Or, or the right, what... What's right, yeah. Yeah, what's right, yeah. 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 Oh. So, if you find someone in psychology studying consciousness, what would you tell them? Would you say you're studying only the effect of something that's more... Oh. Would you? Well, it would be the property of being conscious. Yeah. What, now, what is the property of being conscious? Because look at... You're this aware. might be... Hey, there's yeah. some level of being aware of this plant house. Right. So is that what they're doing when they're studying consciousness? Uh... Uh, no, they yeah, I see. They must. They should be studying awareness, the nature of being conscious. Right, awareness. The or, or another word, for, yeah. But a lot of things you're aware. Uh, uh, would you agree? The smallest little living thing. Yeah. It must be aware. Yeah, and you can measure it in its energy yeah. patterns. Yeah. Yeah. So then, off. the people who study awareness. And they're studying the least little thing to see if it has this property. Right. So what? Don't they? Don't you want to know what it is that manifests itself as consciousness, which is the subject you called being conscious? So. Focusing on that which is conscious, you say? Yeah, the subject yeah. that is conscious. Yeah, right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Say when yeah, that, when people in psychology I mean, purpose, use yeah. this word consciousness. Yeah. Does that mean they're skipping what it is to be conscious? And just looking at the property of conscious, being conscious, which is consciousness. <coughs> yeah. 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 The By the way, to whatever degree something is conscious, does that presuppose some level of mind? They don't go uh, into uh, that. Uh, would you go along with the reason? Well, like the plants, aware of its water content, as mine. Well, whatever degree of the, the smallest living thing can be said to be conscious, must it not presuppose that it that it must gain something about what it is con it is conscious of and respond to it appropriately, given its own neurophysiology? Yeah. Yeah. Well then, if you're studying consciousness, you better be studying mind as well, is that right? Well, you know, they don't go there. Well, they I, say we're it's not the brain. worrying about them. Oh, them. The hell with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just talking philosophy, right? Oh. Hmm. Is that right? 
So if something is just conscious, that's rather foolish. You have to add what? Mind. Mind, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense just to be conscious. Because so you, uh, an amoeba is being conscious, so does it matter that it's being conscious? Or does it follow that it must seek some kind of nutrient in order to continue and to avoid dangers? Well, Therefore, this there is, must be some level yeah. of mind, even to the smallest yeah, little yeah. thing. But this is going to get into a big battle between uh, mind well, and I, We're not talking about those people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, it looks like what you're saying then in the field of psychology, when they're saying, talking about consciousness, yeah. they really means the study of the mind. Yeah. But they don't want to use the term. No. no. They're chicken shit. Well, they're good religious people. Yeah, therefore they're chicken shit. <laughs> the chicken <laughs> shit. Sheeple. Now, I happen to belong to a, a, a place that's called the study of consciousness. And I always make fun of them. Oh, the C3 people. Yeah. yeah. You make fun of them. Why? Because I like to have fun. <laughs> okay. But they're avoiding the role of mind. You mean they're in the not. same group? Yeah, they're, they're in. Most of those people are psychologists. They come out of psychology. They're disillusioned by the study of psychology, thank goodness. Are they also good religious people? Is that what you're good? Well, they don't go together. <laughs> How can you be good and religious at the same time? <laughs> Are they staying true to the Christian? Christ How can they stay true to something that has no truth? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they only have yeah. they have belief. They don't have. Right. They don't espouse truth. Right. Yep. It's pretty. So, if you're interested in going into this contemplative psychology, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I guess you're studying the mind. Yeah. So I guess this is psychology. You better write a paper about let's stop fooling around with the word consciousness and say what we really are trying to do, which is right. study the nature of mind among human beings. Yeah. Rather right. than amoebas and dogs rats. and cats and rats. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. Okay. Thank you. I agree. Boy. Ah, thank you again. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so, cool. Yeah, but see, it's essential. It's essential that people put the proper name on things. Right. And they're not putting the proper name on things because they, they want to be, what's the word again? Uh, they want to stay true to a 19th century view of science, don't they? What is that view? Uh, uh, not the agreement never to use ideas such as mind. Not to use anything that is not in, can be empirically measured. That's that Descartes idea that yeah, Robin that was talking man. about with the extensions. Yeah, all that stuff. So, uh... Scratches. So is there, is there a document or some book or something that specifically mentions the mind and that they're casting it out? Of course yeah. not. They don't, they agree not to use the term. Cast, you are forever cast out, mind. <laughs> Go into the snow. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> the orphan mind. Thou shalt not that's pass. You can get your book, The Orphan Sorry. Mind. Oh, that's okay. right. The drama. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, I mean it's that. It seems like it should have happened somewhere. Well, because or the church. Well, they also don't, don't want to get it's into like the next word. Like casting out the devil. That's soul. what that language is used. Yes. yes. Right. Right, mind right. and soul together. 
But now, remember when those guys had to go to prison, like Galileo and Kepler, right, for studying the... <laughs> Lost various body parts. And now, were they studying... They were studying the heavens. Were they studying the intelligibility of it? That's what I've heard. So, which got them more trouble? The, that they were... Tamp that they were stepping into God's domain, or yes. that they were coming, discovering the intelligibility. No. Yes. No. Yes, no. You're saying what they're doing, or what do they say they were doing? If you look at, if you take a look at Copernicus, uh, Copernicus's introduction. Okay. You know, you know what yeah. he says. I forgot. Oh, I know. No one reads it. Uh, he says, hey, uh, I'm not making some statement about the heavens. That would contradict the church's teachings. Right. All I'm doing is presenting a mathematical model. That's all I'm doing. Right. I'm not into theology. Right. Hmm. Okay, that's right. Is this Kepler? Copernic Copernicus. 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 Thank you. See, like so the great thinkers, Newton. You know, if people read Newton, you know what they'll discover? The dude was in alchemy. He wrote more stuff about alchemy than he ever did mm. about physics. All of these people are using their mind in one way, but we only want to say they're only, hey, they really are doing physical science. Oh, no. <coughs> they're not doing physical science. Yeah. No, I said people want to say that what these thinkers are really doing is called following the paradigm of the physical sciences. Right. I'm pointing out that may be true, but it looks like their lives were engaged in a different kind of thinking while they were doing that, and they spent more time in this other thing than they did in this so-called pursuit of science. So what's, what's alchemy? Isn't that well, a... That, you start out with good questions now. No, isn't that a code word for something else that he's doing? Of course, but it's not a code word. So what was he doing, calling it alchemy, that you refer to as alchemy? Well, oh, it all depends upon uh, how, how forthright you want to be with the use of the term. Like Jung did several books on alchemy, didn't he? Ever look at it? No, but I will. Okay. And then I'll get back to you. <laughs> then you better make sure you read psychology and alchemy. Yeah. Why? Dangerous book if you read it. Very few people have read it. Even when they read it, they don't read it. <laughs> I, I've dabbled in it. Yeah. But it was... Okay. He quotes the, some of the great alchemists. And one is Bernard of Treviso. Yeah. Bernie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he says, I spent my years fooling around with alchemical designs. So I gave it all up after I read one sermon on Parmenides. <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. That's alchemy. <clears throat> he says, then I gave up that mixing stuff, true alchemy is understanding ancient philosophy. He says, that's what we should do, is study ancient philosophy, the Parmenides. How many psychologists do you know are doing that? Two. Two. Three. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. You're one of them. Right. And Rhonda's the other. Both guys are into that. Carl Jung and... Right? Yeah, Regina. Yeah. She's been in. She's written. No, she knows the book. I, I, I heard it. Right, right, right. No, then he spends a whole chapter on meditation. 
Uh -huh. The idea of meditation is to master the ancient authors uh. in order to discover the nature of the mind. Alchemy is a set of symbols to try to understand the nature of the mind. Okay. It's a good book. So but then, then uh, you see, yeah. but he's chicken shit. <clears throat> Because he doesn't tell his patients, hey, uh, uh, what I think is important is to get into Parmenides, just like Bernard of Patricio, and get into ancient philosophy. He doesn't say that. Thank you. But he says it's important, and that's what alchemy really is. So, rather strange guy. You mean what can you expect? He's German. <laughs> <laughs> right? You look into the soul of a German, you know what you find? Trump. <laughs> yeah. Trump. 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 Yeah. Trump. Oh, I thought you were Trump. 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 The new, the do nothing president called Coolidge, with the, mo with the moderns, what? who led into the Great Depression. Julie, huh. didn't you say that when you were looking or all the intro to psych books that you reviewed them all and none of them have the word mind in it? Serious, right? They just yeah. Wouldn't it be interesting to look up in the history of using the web just as a resource? and to see how many people have discussed this issue in respect to Carl Jung's understanding of alchemy in respect oh. to the Parmenides, would it not? Because if there isn't any, who do you think should write an article? Oh yeah. I should. Yeah. yeah. I go to the Jung reading yes, group. You, that's right. You do? Yeah. Well, have you ever asked them? Heck no. Why? What do you mean heck no? They're not, they're not into the mind at all. No, no, no. He is. He is, oh. yeah. Do you know what he calls himself? No. A philosopher. Oh. Would you believe that? Um, I'm a it's hard to believe. In his, two, in his volume, two essays. Uh-huh. In there, he writes an article on the fact that if the truth be known, I'm really a philosopher, but I don't want to use that term oh. because of the poor state in which philosophy is in the universities. Oh, that's pretty insightful. So why why does he why doesn't he hang a shingle philosopher instead of psychologist? Not much of a paycheck in the philosophy. for money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 profit there. Right? Right. Did study under Freud. So. Right, or could put both together. Yeah. Philosophical psychology. What the hell is wrong? Yeah. If that's what it is, why not put it on a piece of paper? Right. Want to start a new movement? Yeah. There you are. What is it? Philosophical what psychology. It? Philosophical psychology. <laughs> right. Philosophical psychology. Well, they have that already. But that was just, that's a Catholic movement Psych that comes out of. Uh, Catholicism, mm -hmm. that's what it's at least oh, the, from what I know. Is that the positive psychology or something? Well, they so give it various names, but essentially okay. that's what it is. So that's what it is now? Is it Catholic deal? Philosophical psychology? Look, my reading of this is about 15 years, you know, I haven't looked at okay. it since then, but yeah. 15 years ago or so, that's what it was. Philosophical psychology was a development out of Catholic universities to try to preserve the faith. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So don't go by me. You'd have to look at it if you have an interest. Okay.
Watch out, you're getting hooked. That mind? It's not popular. Hey, you can make it popular. Yeah, because that's all there is. That's all. <laughs> and with your background, have yeah. you ever studied Buddhism? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I got all the... No. You uh -huh. used to sit and that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wore a uniform? Uh, yeah. No shit. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's great. The robes. <laughs> you might even be able to write about what you've discovered yourself. Which you're up always, to this point you've hidden very well. You always bring that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought we were totally in the field of philosophical psychology now. That's right. You always remind me. That's right. That's good. You, you do. don't have to hide. That's true. That's true. You can call them all <clears throat> pickles and toads. Where, where are you going to offer your first course? Well... You're going to come up with a couple of articles first? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll look forward to it, won't we? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you have any good ideas you thought would be good? <laughs> <laughs> I've fooled around with some. But, uh, I don't know. What do you think would be good to see? What would what whatever you want to see yeah. would be? Good yeah. To see. Okay. <laughs> Just mind. have a good one. Yeah. The dream. The dr yeah. That's what the dream is oh, the saying. Oh, what the hell is nice. behind this? That's right. And he has us. Yeah. Oh, that's major. That's so funny. It is, isn't it? Yeah. See, you're making a major difference instead of measuring things, you're, you're answering questions about your own mind and how it is functioning. You're not using God sharks tables and methodology, right? You're trying to realize certain things by your reflections. Like what is that one word that can link together righteousness and consciousness, right? That you can Yeah. It's a departure from empirical psychology, isn't it? Right. Right. And I think you believe that by getting into this stuff, you also get into corresponding states of mind. Hmm. Is that right? What? I don't know. You don't know? That was your dream, is it? Didn't we point out that you're getting an interesting state of mind? Last by, night. By reflecting on the words and that process of understanding. Yeah. Oh. That reflecting part is yeah. the most important. Yeah. It Watch out. You're it now starting. Visible. Unless you do that. You're now you're now you're into a new way of approaching psychology, or whatever you want to call it. In the right. end, it doesn't matter. So okay, like psychology might have a happiness scale, right? And ask a bunch of questions to determine what score you get on the happiness scale. We can tell how happy you are. So that's Is a mess. <laughs> happiness. What do you think of that? What? Well, it's kind of... <laughs> that tells you how happy you are. How happy you say you are. <laughs> how happy you say you are. Or where you place yourself on a scale of one to five on their questions. Maybe there's a ten. Somewhat. And you're a ten. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> but they don't ask, what have you been doing to get to those levels? Uh, what is it like to get to those levels? Sounds like you're talking about the cause of happiness. What have you been doing to get to those levels? No. Which is what you were asking about in your dream last night. Good one. Right? Good one. Right. The reason I keep asking about this cause thing is because, you know that painting, The School of Athens? You know, it originally had a different name. Yes. Do you, do you know what that name was? Go ahead. Cognitio Causarum? Yeah. Or Causarum Cognitio? The study, and I don't know, is it the cause of knowing? The causes of knowing? Yes. Or is it knowledge of causes? Take your pick. Knowledge of causes. Knowledge. So then, knowing cause is apparently not a good thing in the eyes of the Catholic Church. No, 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 no. no. Because they changed no, no. the name of the thing. No, in terms of modern science. Modern science. Catholic Church doesn't have any problem with the idea of causes. They use it all the time. Okay. So the modern science would want to say that the cause of anything, like I guess they use the billiard pool, the pool table, the cause of the ball going in the pocket is the result of another ball hitting it. Something like that. No. No. So what's the problem with modern science and cause? Why do they? They came to a curious obvious truth and they celebrated it as a profound insight okay and that is you never can see a cause therefore it's not empirical yeah oh it's not okay cause is not empirical like the cause what one what one might be doing in one's life to and as a result, be more happy. You can't see that what they're doing. Hey, unless you give them a question. I know a book you can read. Okay. That will cost you maybe a buck. What? Or you can download it. Philosophical midwife. No. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. David Hume, essay concerning human understanding. Okay. I have that book. Okay. Yeah, you just see? Yeah. <laughs> you might have to read it. Okay. <laughs> he says, hey, you never see a cause. All, you, all people see is repeating patterns that under certain circumstances, you see patterns repeating themselves. You never uh -huh. see a cause. All you see, you come to the conclusion that there's a cause, not because you see the cause, but you've been convinced because of the repetition of patterns of behavior that keep on going on and on under certain circumstances. You don't need, therefore, the idea of cause. All it is is recognizing certain similarities and occurrences that occur again and again. Okay. Right, so they don't use the idea of cause. No need to use it empirically. All you do is see it. Everybody knew that in the ancient world. But they just see if English if an Englishman discovers it, then it's <coughs> then it's scientific. Obviously causes are always something you can't see, you infer. But being empiricists, they don't want to infer anything. And yet they Therefore, infer everything. They infer everything. Well, okay, but don't. they don't cop so, up to it. Yeah, they, therefore they don't have the need for the idea of course. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, 
And when he was asked, uh, how do you account for this repetition of causes? He had a good answer. Should I give it to you? The repetition of the bit patterns? Yeah. Yeah, what, what was... They asked about the cause of that. Yeah, he did. He did. He, he said, asked about the cause. Okay. Yeah. You want to hear his answer? Yeah, yeah. Don't ask that kind of question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he I sounds a so. lot like Julie's mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just like Was his, that like... That was just like similar, his mother. Similar. Yeah. So, yeah. so is there a whole class of they among whom Julie's mother is? Yeah. So that what their opinion about mind and all that yeah. would all be in the same... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, cause is a problem. Yeah. And then he went the next step and said, uh, uh, I guess I have to ask this question of uh, uh, experience. I mean, if all experiences occurs within you, you know, you receive impressions. Have you heard that theory? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He said, how do you know that the impressions you receive have any correspondence with what's out there if everything that you experience is in here? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, how do you answer that? Faith. You have faith, I think. You know how he answered it? No. He says, shut up, don't ask that kind of question. <laughs> oh. He says, the mind is not capable of answering that kind of question. It's just, therefore, it's a stupid question. The mind doesn't have the power and the ability to answer such questions. Therefore, be like a gentleman. Oh. Don't push questions beyond their empirical form. Yeah, so yeah. does this tell us something about his dad or mom? <laughs> that, yes. That Yes, Get a model of knowing yeah. and knowledge and... Yeah. Mm. So we could look for the cause of David Hume's theory yeah. in See, his father. If anybody were to write that up and hand it in as a paper and F. put their name on it, F. they'd probably get an F. Yeah. Right? F minus. Yeah. But because we have a, a, a you know, we, we are taught in a certain way, never criticize these authors, just represent what they say. Right. Therefore, you get a history yeah. of absurdities that are never questioned. Never question, never change anybody. But really, if you take a look at that book, there'll be three of them. And okay. don't forget to read the last paragraph. Okay. <laughs> it's a good one. Cool. When you run over to the libraries, pick up any book at all and oh. ask yourself, does this book have anything to do with number and experiment? If no, toss it in the flames, for it is nothing but rhetoric, empty. I'll bet you, Nickel, that's what he says. If you're a betting woman. That's the last paragraph. Wow. If you're Maybe you can get it on your Inquiries. machine for $400. Right. Oh, this, this, oh God, I, no thank you, I don't want to take the time. <laughs> God. Wow, so interesting. It's, it's it would be so interesting to just challenge, to just challenge that lack of Recognize, talking about the mind. But, there, but you see, all European philosophers cannot be, really, if you examine any one of them, you'll discover a fundamental flaw in their, in their basic thinking. It's just pervasive. But when you go to universities, everybody, all the professors agree not to criticize these works, but their job is to teach what these men think.
therefore you never get into the books to see the crap that's in it, excuse me, the curious right. thinking that's in it. Right. That's right. Unless you take Pierce class. Right. Well, so those are germane to psychology then. And to the whole scientific it, method. That's because they came out of that. That's their model. Right. That's their. That's their that's model. The model. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's a very curious model. It's just. It's they have the wrong name on it. Psychology. Pardon? They have the wrong name on it. Psychology. Yeah. Because psychology is the study of the soul or the psyche or the mind. But they don't, the, the, I mean, that's, the root, that's, the root, that's and, the root meaning. And when you bring that up, they're embarrassed and say, huh? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> don't ask those huh? questions. <laughs> well, that was pre-science, pre-scientific yeah. method. Yeah. Well, uh, See, this, like, what's nice about the present circumstance is that all of this has to now be re-examined. That's what's going on. Like, what is money? What is work? What is freedom? What is real education? Right. All of this is now a subject to a now we're willing to review it because we're in the middle of chaos. Yeah. Right? That's right. I had a talk with a so-called philosophical economist two days ago, and uh, he was saying, money, you have to understand money as a certain viscosity. And velocity. You have to be able to study money as it flows, and you have to see its vis viscosity and its, its, its power, and you have to be able to wow. trace the way in which it flows through culture and through business and through finally people's use of money. Sounds I like snail tracks, doesn't it? I said, it's hey, you awesome. know what? Or it's it's a slime, the petroleum slime model. Hey, <laughs> you know what? All you need to say is that money is like a stream, and its tributaries go throughout the land, and it support farming and commerce and <coughs> enjoyment of swimming and dancing and all of the boating. <clears throat> it creates a way of life so that when someone builds their own reservoir for their own lake or their own private lake, it pulls the money out into private reservoirs. That's, what, <coughs> hey, that's what's going on in our culture. All of these people have all the money in their private reservoirs. There's $24 trillion dollars in offshore accounts. <laughs> hey, that's a... That's enough money for the United States. Good God, for the world. Yeah, yeah. To live off of for the next century. To live incredible. Incredible. That's the problem of money. You can't allow it to be hoarded. These are pigs. Yeah. <laughs> right? These are pigs. Greedy pigs. That's an insult to pigs. And they're pulling yeah. all the money out of the economy. They know when to stop. Therefore, there's not <laughs> money for work. There's not money for education. Therefore, make people pay for it, et cetera, et cetera. Health But yeah. see, the problem with the modern world is that we don't have any, we don't have myths to explain things. We don't have what here? Myth. Myths. Myths. Yeah. Like, there's only one real myth we need, it's the Greek myth of Prometheus, right? Prometheus is a god who stole fire and the arts, including dream work, by the way, in order to benefit man. How? Prometheus said, 
Man, there's going to be extinguished. Look at him. He's living in caves. He's starving. He's miserable. He doesn't have the arts. What he needs is the arts in order to survive and live on a high level. We have to be free of work. What do we have? Work to death. <laughs> hey, we have a technology that makes work Im irrelevant. Right. There are not enough good jobs because the robots are taking over all of the jobs yeah. <laughs> that used to supply work for people. And they make tremendous amounts of money from it, which they then store in the islands to keep their greed going. And it's not there for benefiting society. So you know what? We need a new definition of money and work. Right, work should not be should not be related to money and work. Money and work should be separated. Like there's several cities now in Europe, Holland is one of them, that has guaranteed annual living. Yeah. That's Switzerland. All. That should hey everything. <laughs> That's where we are. That's where we are. We have all the surpluses and everything, but we don't have the money to buy it because all the money is being siphoned out to these people's private reservoirs. What, what and we allow it. It's absurd. What did the economist say? Pardon? What did the economist say to your um, analogy? Oh, he said, well, uh, I agree with you entirely. I'd rather use my language. <laughs> so he disagrees. See, he wants to measure the flow. He wants to. Same model, right? Yeah, yeah. He wants to make a mathematical model. I say, you don't need a mathematical model, for Christ's sakes. It's obvious. Either society needs money, and if money is being hoarded in an extreme fashion, then it's not sufficient to allow people to flow. See, money has to flow. It's a flow. It's like money. Yeah. All dried Once up. someone then pulls it out, then everything dries up. Yep. <laughs> and in our capitalist system, that goes on and on and on and on every 70 years, right? It goes on and on. Right? 70 to 100 years, it's, it's, it's chronic, goes throughout history. Haven't we had enough of it? So now revolutions are going to take place. We're going to kill the rich, right? Behead them, right? French Revolution, guillotine them all, suckers, right? They think that's the problem. That's not the problem. The problem is that you have to separate work and money. Different things. What did you say? Separate worth from money. Work. 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 Oh, work. Now they said that um, the people that are supporting Trump are the ones that are uneducated, women, not women, not blacks, not Hispanics. They want work. The un yeah. the they want work. They don't understand that. Right. The, 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 no, they're the ones. That's that an don't absurd need. principle. You don't need work if there's no like. <laughs> yeah. wonder, what do you want to go back to the 19th century yeah. and yeah. everybody right. work for Christ's sakes? Yeah. Yeah, Muscle. man. Yeah, well, you know yeah. What say about I have hands. to get right. Give me a shovel. Yeah, give me a shovel. Yeah. Then I know God is right. I have most of work by the sweat of my balls. Right. No, no, I, not I, the balls. Idle what hands. Is, <laughs> brow, <laughs> brow. You got to get what's right. But they say idle hands are like the work of the devil. So you got to, you know, keep busy. So yeah. you, know, you might have shot. fun. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. You don't keep busy. Aren't there some other fundamental beliefs that go along with that? The belief in your separate self, the belief that you have a separate self from everybody else, the belief, the belief that your work is worth more than somebody else's, right? Like, hey, I went to eight years of college to be a, a doctor, so therefore I should be rewarded because nobody else is coming and becoming a doctor. That's so what they, they so there's In Russia, you can be a doctor with a BS degree. <laughs> Which way do you mean that? Like, oh, really? No, yeah. Uh -huh. You don't need eight years of schooling or what? and two hundred fifty thousand dollars I mean, of the day. Our system, our system for in the medical world, is is to keep people from becoming doctors. 
to make it more and more difficult. So it's hard to get health care. Make the education so expensive that only the few people can afford to become doctors. Right. It's absurd. Oh, so that's we not the way to, not the way to, like like the way to have a culture. Either. That's not the way to have a culture. Like they deserve to earn more because they have more merit. No. Right? Um, Isn't that another false belief that we have to get rid of them? In Russia, they do a lot of apprenticeship. As soon as they get a certain degree, then they get into apprenticeship. And See, they just work. To, in today's technology, you should be able to go to a drugstore, pee in a jar, right? Leave a turd there, and it'll all be analyzed automatically, right? You'll have your blood pressure checked, right? They'll put a little needle in your finger for blood chest. The whole thing can be done independent of a doctor. Right. It's right. all in, it's That's all true. done. You can have a, a blueprint come out, a analysis of what you are, what you need. Yeah. 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 Right. You only need them if you, when you're sick. Why? As a good hey, friend. Carol. Why do you need them when, when you're sick? Well, because you, you, essentially you want uh, uh, you want reassurance. The computers are right. To need your insurance because the analysis would come out and you can see how good your doctor is. Like the one thing they don't want to do that they never want to print the results of uh, how how efficient doctors are in the treatment of their the particular maladies. They don't want that to come out. Of. Yeah. Right. But these people are profiting on this system, yeah. so why change it for them? Like. What challenge, what turn on challenge the money idea? Huh. I think what you're offering, the idea of the Promethean idea, is that each of us has our gifts and our arts. And just performing that alone would be a benefit to society and then would allow somehow the flow to continue. Like, maybe somebody is better at being a doctor. and But then so, so is somebody making my shoes. Kind of like, or... Oh, well, many of our young people today recognize this problem and now they're going for minimal living circumstances, aren't they? Find a place where you can just put a little house, right? These are the ways in which you can support yourself without working, mm -hmm. right? Or a different kind of work to maintain your, your existence. But we're mm -hmm. going, we're entering into a wonderful new era, but yeah. we, there isn't a, there isn't a, a conscious philosophy. Right. Hmm. That see, it's not socialism. That's bullshit. Socialism was only effective in the 19th century. Now, now we, we don't need socialism. We need a new definition of work and labor, money, education. It's almost like what's, a humanism. What's the name of all of that? Yeah. yeah. It's a humanism. Yeah. They want to know what's yeah. like. I have students that say, "Just grow your own food, right? Forget all the pesticides and all that crap because it's poisonous. It's not good for you." They're thinking about what's what's good for them. Well, see, but it's to find a way out of the absurdity is not sufficient. That's individual salvation. Right, right, right. That's right. right. That's right. Like, I just got this from oh. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Right? Let's see. Hubris. Okay. All of the data pulled together that will show that the whole Bush administration perpetrated a conspiracy against the people to, to generate a war for no reason. The whole thing is a shoddy Trump-like enterprise. Trump hey, here's the data. We're afraid to use the law. <laughs> Kissinger. What did he do? Like, he can't leave the country. Right. Why does he, he stay? Because they have... Why do you have him stay? <laughs> yeah. Right. The civil rights rules against the guy. They have, the guy 
started a war with Cambodia, killed millions of people. Ne we never, <coughs> we never declared war. He was the mastermind of how to wipe out Cambodia, which brought about Pol Pot. Right, the Cambodians went around saying, hey, what, we're being decimated by these crazy Americans. Maybe it's the culture. Okay, let's get rid of the culture. So Pol Pot came along and did the same thing. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong with society and the bourgeoisie? Okay, let's kill them off. <clears throat> That's not the solution. Right. Conscious philosophy. Oh. Understanding, yeah, that's what's wrong. Yeah. Lack of understanding. Well, it's, it's, uh... I always ask the question, why isn't it obvious? Right. Is it obvious <clears throat> that we should do, or that we don't understand? Why, why is the obvious not obvious? <laughs> See, years ago yeah. I used to work on the think, one of the earliest think tanks in the United States I was part of. And uh, in every case, every study we got came down to exactly the same problem. Mm. And that was? Which is managers do not understand how people use their products and services. By the way, in every case, there are people who do know those things. They're called workers. <laughs> but none of these executives want to talk to their workers. So they hire firms like the one I have. <laughs> and you guys go talk to the workers? Set up. Right. It's always the same thing. Why don't we do the obvious? No, why don't we do the obvious? I was asking that question yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and then, by the way, when they get the answer, it doesn't mean they're going to use the answer. Right, yeah. Right. Want to hear a fun story? Maybe I've told it too many times. Uh, I got a, a call from the U.S. Rubber Company. Uh -huh. They had a problem, see, and that was they produced golf balls. And other companies buy their golf balls and put their name on it <laughs> and charge far more for these balls. Than yeah. they do. <laughs> and they want to know what's going on. Obviously, we have a great name, we're a great company. Mm -hmm. mm. So the vice president said, after we finish the talk, he said, let's go out and shoot, you know, play some golf. I said, I don't play golf. <laughs> <laughs> He said, we're giving a study to a guy on golf balls, and, he, and he, he just said he never hit a golf ball? I said, no, I don't. I wouldn't treat a golf ball that way. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute. I did a study on female products. And, uh, and by the way, uh, we did a great study on sanitary napkins, and I've never worn one myself. He said, you got the job. <laughs> right? So I went out to, to the best country clubs all throughout the, the East Coast and a couple in Southern California fly me around to <clears throat> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Came back with a report. And... Uh, I said, gentlemen, uh, people who play golf, it, it's a curious sport. You know, they know the element of luck and chance, right? And they have all kinds of gimmicks on how to try to improve their luck. 
and they look at your ball and they're ready to hit it and it says U.S. rubber. What do you think they're thinking of that are hitting a rubber? Yeah. Vice President looks up and says, oh, oh, yeah, That's it. <laughs> what am I wacky? <laughs> so he looks up and he says, I don't care. I just wanted to know why they can make more money selling than we do. I'm not going to change anything. After all, there's nothing better than the U.S. rubber company. <laughs> oh. She's blue all the way. Hey. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a hilarious story. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, everything I said, every one of the pros that we, I always talk to the pros and the top players and when they were around for coffee. Everybody knew this. That's not any secret. Right. Yeah. But they never. Funny story. Is it? A yeah. good one? I have several of them, but I'd rather not. Yeah. Uh. Well, the sanitary products one, where none of the people on the board were women. That oh, was that's a good one. Huh? Oh, Is yeah. that a good one? That's right. Mad Men. <laughs> Do you watch the show Mad Men? <coughs> oh. I have watched a few of it. Uh, 50s business world. Johnson and Johnson. Oh. Yeah, Johnson and Johnson has a whole range of products, and often by different names. So they were interested in knowing how do women decide what contraceptive product to use. They didn't give a damn about <gasps> profit. They don't care about profit. They know they're going to make money. Everybody knows they're going to make money. Captured audience. So they can be flat. Right. Ask questions. So now they have a question. What was their question? How do women choose their products? By the way, everyone in the group the big oak table and about 30 guys with all kinds of degrees have their feet on the table, you know, and they're talking to one another. They're all married. <laughs> Why is that funny? Well, why don't they ask their wives? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they've got a role for their wife also. Oh, why don't they, yeah, why don't they ask the people they know? Yeah, well, why don't yeah. they have So instead they get... So it costs them a great deal. They don't care, actually. They feel better when they spend more money. 
Yeah. So when I came back from this study, I said, by the way, gentlemen, you have to make a couple of changes. I suggest one is for the woman on the board. <laughs> a what? A woman? <laughs> Well, they're selling, they're selling women female products, right? For contraceptive products. Oh, brother, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we don't want a woman on the board. Shoot. No. <laughs> Stating the obvious, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Jeez. Yeah, and therefore you would last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, never mind that. Yeah. So now the big money is moving from Trump, right? They're moving all the money that they were giving Trump. And now they're using it for state offices and governorships because that's what they want to control because they know they can't control him if he gets in. He's too erratic. No one yeah. can understand him. Yeah. See, that there's no, yep. that there's no reason. See, instead of saying, "Hey, we've been backing this guy and he's nuts," yeah. he's totally and, and therefore we don't care if he loses. We're going to hold the state offices, and that way we'll control our party, and for the next election we'll go for the next one. To help with Trump, let him win. <laughs> When in truth, what they should be saying is, hey, look, we agree, the guy's crazy. He's unstable. And there's a, there's a good portion of the Republican Party that have said yeah. we are not. So he just got $100 million oh, as a, in cash, by the way, from Adelson, the guy who's the... Uh, oh, Sheldon. Yeah. Tom? Who's yeah. the Las Vegas mafia head. Yeah, he sure is. What's he going to get back in exchange? That's the Godfather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the Godfather. Well, he's Edelson's been accused of helping the Chinese mafia. Yeah. So he's going to get. If Trump gets in, he's going to exonerate Edelson. He's yeah. going to say, "We dropped the charges." Yeah. What is the other charges? Uh, you know, for like really laundering money of the Chinese yeah, mafia. We, we beat yeah. Russia. So, yeah. if, if, so we'll just be a pile of dumb. So, so the only th the only reason things are the way they are is because of the military media is, keeps information from people. Hmm. Now, how far can uh, Amy Goodman change the country? She's just vital, yeah. but a one voice. How did we get in this subject? Well, hubris. 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 It's all hubris. Yeah, hubris. Yeah, there it is. Someone want to borrow it before I get it? It's <laughs> obvious. It. Right? It's obvious. I'd like to look at it. They'll say the obvious. Yeah, how many? I don't have to borrow it after. <laughs> yeah. That picture was Who taken when their caravan ran out of gas and they had to walk back Is on a Michael Texas Moore? ranch. No. <laughs> 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 I that really? I that oh, that's funny. wonderful. I that is that so picture. funny. What was it? He was, he was cruising around the, his ranch in a caravan and they ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> How else could you get a picture of so many asses? Oh, and, and, okay. but, but it's funny that they put that picture in there because one like, like, look yes. where it got old. Yeah, the ineptitude. Right, like. Interesting. You want to borrow? Yeah. Well, no. I want to just look at for a second. Yeah, they stole the election. The Supreme Court gave it to them. Florida gave it to them. It's all. Yep. Yep. Sure did. This is the first time when America now may face the destruction of the Republican and the Democratic Party. In my what? 
we may face in this election the destruction of the Republican and the Democratic Party. Right? That's a good thing. Wow. Yeah, now there's a time to rethink. Do you want? No, you go ahead. All right. Oh, maybe we could watch it together. I no, I don't want to leave. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Are you going to watch it? No. Oh. I, I was given it, so I wanted to give it away to someone else so I can say, well, I was going to look at it, but Yanni insisted that he wanted to see it before me. So when you're in the car, yeah. Yeah. I can traveling to Arizona. We were going to try it. Yeah. You still in? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's true. <laughs> Where was it? They were hiding around. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Oh, Here's yeah. another pair, too. Don't forget yeah. these. Well, you know, when they had the election and Bush stole it the second time, they, they stopped the count in Florida. They were, they, they, Al Gore and others who had a whole thing up before the Congress to contest that. And when that was going on, 9 11 happened. And that's good. All the focus. Shifted. Well, that 9 11. Such a drama. We're still feeling the effects of it. It's it manufactured, you know, the whole thing yeah. is manufactured. You know, yes, I, uh, 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 all the data is in, anyone wants yes. to look at it. Yes. It's all. Yep. Same thing happened in the uh, Spanish American War. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a, uh, uh, a battleship that was sunk by the Spanish. By the way, the uh, uh, Hearst newspapers had the story 24 hours before it was sunk. Really? Curious. Oh. Does that suggest something? Yeah. yeah. Uh, conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going on Prometheus. for a long time. That's vet <laughs> Vietnam. What about that? Uh, Choykin, the, the forest yeah, of Choykin. So I can bet it, absurd. Everyone agrees. Oh, McNamara admitted, yeah. 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 Our invasion of Panama, or that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.